Hey there, Marvel Universe. This is Ben Morse from Marvel.com. I am here with writer Greg Pock. Greg. Hey, thanks for having me. You do have a War Machine launching. It's going to really kind of tie you more closely into the, the, the Marvel Universe that's been going through Secret Invasion and stuff like that. Now, that's almost a different kind of experience for you because, you know, when you had Hulk, you were, you were a little far off until you got to World War Hulk. Scar's on a different planet. Yeah. Incredible Hercules is in its own little <laughs> world. But uh, War Machine's very, you know, it's tied to Iron Man, tied to Secret Invasion. How is that kind of a different experience for you writing-wise? Well, War Machine is uh, art by Leo Manco. It stars Jim Rhodes, classic character. Uh, 30, actually, in 2009, apparently, is the 30-year anniversary of Jim Rhodes, I think. So uh, it's kind of all, all very timely. But, um, uh, but yeah, so this is a, is, a, is a book that's set square in the middle of the Marvel Universe. It's a, it has a global reach. The basic idea is that Jim Rhodes is now a one-man army who is, uh, you know, madmen and dictators around the world watch out because, uh, uh, you know, all of the atrocities that folks have been committing for years that they've been able to get away with because no authority on Earth seems willing to take responsibility for stopping them. Well, that ends today because Jim Rhodes is on the job and he's got War Machine's giant shoulder mountain rocket cannons and a stealth satellite and all kinds of other nifty gigaws from which he's going to which he's going to utilize to uh, to uh, deal out terrible justice. And then of course uh, you've also got Incredible Hercules which you're co-writing with Fred Van Lente. Um, a Dark Reign storyline will ensue. Actually, well, first we have issue number 126, uh, which will give us uh, a story from Herc's past, from his ancient past. A little bit of a, almost like an origin story for Herc, uh, and it relates to what's going on in the present in a big way as well. After that, we're uh, 127 and 128, we're plunging into uh, a big, crazy, um, I, all, all I will say is Dark Reign. Things get very dark. The Magneto Testament book is it's Magneto's origin story, uh, and Magneto uh, was a child during the rise of the Nazis and the Final Solution and, and the Holocaust. Uh, so it follows um, this boy, Max Eisenhardt, um, while he struggles to save his family from the Nazi threat in, from 1935 to 1945. Um, this is a, a project that War, editor Warren Simons uh, has, uh, I've been working with him on, and it's been a project that he's had in mind for a long time. I've been working with on it actually for about three years now. Um, and we just knew that we had to get this one right. You know what I mean? When you're telling a story like this, telling a Holocaust story in particular, um, it was just so key that we get to do the best of our ability to, um, to get all the historical facts right. We've been very fortunate to have uh, Mark Weitzman from the Simon Wiesenthal Center serve as a uh, historical consultant who's uh, read drafts of our scripts and helped keep us on track. Um, with with all the details so uh, but yeah it's um, I mean it's the most difficult research I've ever done for any creative project quite frankly I mean it gave me nightmares while I was doing it um, uh, but you know like I said it became a mission for us all to, to do right and uh, and uh, so thanks to all the you know to the retailers and the fans out there who've been buying the book and, and uh, talking it up well, thank you very much for your time Greg as always hi my name is Greg Pock and this is Marvel your universe Marvel, your universe.